Last race of the week, it's the Kakuka Show Group 1 over in Japan, one mile, seven furlongs, four three-year-olds, Finley Blake, Ryan Tamasebi, Harrow on the Hill, David Thompson, initialize for Craig Allen, Trogan attack for Craig Allen, double-handed here today, Happy Hawk, Dan Hughes, Riot Ackley on Van Rensburg, and the perfect mix, Joshua Sutherland. And they're off and running over in Japan. So quite a small field for what is a very big prize. 1.8 million pounds roughly available uh, for these horses here. So some of the big trainers, have, uh, or the trainers towards the top of the flat league at least, have sent some of their prime three-year-olds over to try and pick up some of that prize money. It's Finley Blake that's gone out into that early lead. Craig Allen sent two over, trying to eat into that prize money lead that Leon Van Rensburg has uh, on the flat code. But Joshua Sutherland as well, who's high up in the prize money as well, sent the perfect mix over. So a fascinating race here, but still a relatively small field that only seven have come over. Perhaps a few horses decided to stay at home and go for the Ebor. But it's Finley Blake that has a lead of a few lengths over. Harrow on the hill, a few lengths back in second. Another length or so break to to three in a line there the perfect mix happy hawk and over on the rail is trogan attack and currently towards the rear of the field and still being held up is initialize and riot act still a maiden after two runs for leon van rensburg but you wouldn't rule that one out given the form he's been in on the flat this week it's been absolutely relentless win after win adding to his tally and certainly catching craig allen up in terms of number of wins as well so all eyes on Riot Act today, see if it can end what has been an amazing week for that particular trainer. But Finley Blake is going to try and do it all from the front, put some some of these big horses, some of these high-performing three-year-olds under a bit of pressure, and it'll be fascinating to see which of these then head to Doncaster next week for the last classic of the season, the St. Ledger. But we're already coming to the seven furlong pole. It's still Finley Blake that has the lead of a few lengths over Harrow on the hill, but that one's about to be passed now by initialize one of craig allen's runners and then harrow on the hill drops back into third now trogan attacks hot on the heels of it in fourth happy hawk moving forward on the outside and riot actors now past the perfect mix and relegated that one to be the back marker the perfect mix still traveling strongly enough as is trogan attack at the rear of the field so anything still has a chance with five furlongs to go trogan attack absolutely nowhere to go there at the rear of the field and the jockeys having to sit very patiently on that one and it's its stable mate initialize that has the daylight at the moment and has started to eat into finley blake's lead as we come into the final four finley blake now getting to work and trying to kick on initialize seemingly traveling strongly in behind and the perfect mix is now burst through and moved into third place and wants to start closing the cap but finley blake if anything is extending the lead again as we come to the two and a half furlong marker but ha perhaps now starting to tire as initialize is making way the perfect mix is now coming down the outside happy hawk up the inner riot act and trogan attack is starting to get going and harrow on the hill is the one at the moment that looks to be struggling at the rear of the field but finley blake still has the lead as we start to approach the furlong marker and into the final furlong we go finley blake is about to have the challenge laid down to it now by the perfect mix on the outside happy hawk coming through riot act is now really starting to stay on and look at danger on the outside it's the perfect mix happy hawk riot act the three of them together as they hit the line and my money's on riot act there i think it's got up another narrow victory in a big race here for leon van rensburg to finish the week it couldn't have gone better week nine on the flat has been absolutely dominated by that trainer and he's extended his lead in terms of prize money and closed the gap in terms of wins couldn't have gone better just gets up their riot act and all eyes will be on that one in the ledger to see if it can land another big prize the perfect mix just touched off for josh sutherland back in second happy hawk third dan hughes initialized fourth very unlucky in running and finley blake uh faded into fifth